Hello and welcome to this video. Now today we are going to be looking at the Andon Star 246S microscope. Now you might remember that from a previous video I did where basically I had a bit of a problem and it was all to do with a tiny hole. This is like the arm that the microscope moves up and down on and this is the bracket that moves it up and down and um, it doesn't fit. So because this is a brand new microscope and it's not really out there at the moment, I sort of caught this issue for Andon Star and they very kindly sent me a replacement part from China within a couple of days and that is what we want. We want a bit of pole action. That's what she said. So I'm really pleased that I can now put this all together and hopefully I'll be able to repair stuff using this microscope. So fingers crossed it all works. Now I've sort of flat laid all the bits out here because basically you saw me unbox it all in the last video and try and assemble it. But in this video I am actually, well, he says, going to assemble it. So uh, yeah, what I thought I'd do is assemble it and then we can have a little play and see how it works, if it indeed does. I don't even want to consider that. So let's get it all built up and see if we can actually microscope a circuit board. I really hope we can. Anyway, let's get on with it. So yeah, there's not all that much information out there about this uh, microscope yet, because it is a 2022 model. And uh, yeah, I'm very excited to give it a go. I don't think any other YouTubers have got their hands on this yet. Well, none of the ones that I watch. So hopefully this will be interesting for you. And as I say, if you have trouble with the bracket like I did, then do get in touch with Andon Star, especially if you bought it through Amazon because they are very nice people and they will do whatever they can to make you happy. Not like that, obviously. They very kindly refunded me the cost of this microscope as means of an apology, which is very nice of them. So hopefully all future microscopes will come with the correct clampy brackety things and you won't have the same problem. But if you do, then do get in touch with them. Don't just send it back in a huff because they will be happy to help. And also while I'm building this, I have to give a massive shout out to all of those who have joined my channel. It's growing really nicely actually, and I'm really, really happy. Every single person who joins whatever tier just helps support this channel. So if you fancy joining, then just hit the join channel button. I can't remember what side it's on and you can join from 99p a month. And a special shout out to David for his uh, continued support. He is a legend. And also I'm wearing some merch today. Now I've got a whole lot of merch and you can actually buy it on this little shelf that's underneath the video if you're watching on the YouTube website. And basically every sort of penny of profit that I make from the merch, which isn't all that much actually, um, will go towards supporting the channel. So. If you like the stuff and you want to look as cool as me, then buy some merch. Actually, before I install too much more, I'm going to screw these little clampy guys on. You screw, put the screw through, you put the spring on, and then you screw into the base. This is where I don't have a screwdriver the right size. I do, thank the Lord. There we go. So this is where we came unstuck last time. Hopefully that won't happen this time. Oh no, it doesn't fit. There we go, look at that. Whee, whee. Now we've got to unscrew these guys a little bit. Now this actually comes with three different lenses and for printed circuit boards, you've got to use lens L. So I've got lens L ready. You can actually do like proper microscopy type shizzle with this, including like looking at bugs and slides and things. Right. Okay. This is 
it's looking like an actual microscope now. All right, so let's pop lens L in. And screw it in position. Blindly looking for the hole. That's what she said. Right, okay, so we've got to try and fathom out the wiring. I think it should be pretty straightforward. So it comes with this inline remote and that has got three different connectors on the end. It's got a micro USB, it's got a USB-A and it's got this little DC jack thing here. And this powers the little spotlights. Uh, this powers the screen slash microscope and this is the power input. So this needs to be plugged into a USB socket that supplies at two amps or higher. Unplugs into the microscope and screen. This one plugs into the lights. All right, let's peel that off. Now there is a version of this that comes with a slightly bigger screen. I think it comes with a 10 inch screen, but I think seven inches is more than enough. That's what she said. Okay, let's plug it into some power and see what happens. Well, we have lights on. <gasps> Welcome. Oh, I think I'm gonna insert an SD card. It does come supplied with an SD card, but I'm always nervous about sort of unbranded SD cards. So uh, yeah, I've got a SanDisk SD card to go in this one. So hopefully we shouldn't lose any recordings or anything like that. Okay, so now it's just a sort of bit of trial and error. Oh, hello. Oh my God, it actually works. Like you can see the individual dots Need some batteries with a remote control. One moment, please. So the remote control's got batteries in and I managed to get this to record. So look, you can actually see the sort of dots that make up the printing on the brochure. That is amazing. So what I've got here is a surface mount practice kit, basically, and it comes with a circuit board. Get the circuit board out of here and have a little look at that under the microscope. Oh my God. Look at the quality of that. That is insane. So I've got this to record at 4K at 25 frames a second, which is what I record everything in anyway. Just to give you some context, here are my tweezers. And what are we looking at? We're looking at number eight. Here come the tweezers. I mean, I'm gonna to have to sort out my shakes. That, that is me holding something steady. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do surface mounted stuff. This could all be, all could be a waste of time. Ah, ah, ah. I genuinely can't get over the uh, quality of it all. Yeah, so there's a little bit of sort of picture tearing when it moves fast. So let's have a look at some of the components on here. So those are the smallest components included in the pack. And, um, you know, if I want to make things easy for myself, these are the biggest components in the pack. I mean, those look positively huge compared to these, well, essential grains of rice. That is mental. Let's have a little look. Get my solder out, iron out. Let's have a little look at the tip under the scope. <laughs> oh my God. But look, that, that is just insane. I know, I know like, like everyone, I know like all the techie YouTubers who fix stuff have got microscopes like this, but I'm genuinely blown away by the quality of this. So the, that must be the pads for the ICs that go on there. So if I pull this up a bit. Do 
make it a slightly more zoomed out view. Because again, I need to sort of work out what my kind of working distance will be. Hang on, there's some sort of digital zoom. Oh, I don't think you can change the digital zoom when you're recording, that's annoying. Okay, so yeah. Oh my God. That is just absolutely insane quality. I'm so excited. I really am. And I mean, these lights, they're great. Can I see like the, there we go. So I can see both sides of the IC now. So look, this is just some cheap solder that I found knocking around in my toolbox. I mean, the solder looks massive, doesn't it? <laughs> tiny, tiny, tiny solder. Huge solder boost. Ah! But yeah, I'm basically, I'm on a lot of medication and it does give me the shakes. So I think that's a better kind of working, working sort of zoom, isn't it? But yeah, let's have a look at some of these components. So those are some capacitors there. And these are some diodes. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. Right up to these big boy resistors. It's going to take me a while to learn how to solder properly. Now, back in my past, I used to collect arcade machines and I'll put some pictures on the screen actually showing my collection and some uh, fellow arcade fans playing on them. And I used to do a lot of repairs on the actual boards and the monitors, but it wasn't surface mount back then. It was all very much like sort of standard printed circuit boards and everything was very easy to solder and you didn't need anything like this to be able to see it. And, you know, so I do have a bit of electronics knowledge, but very, very basic. And I do have some soldering skills, but again, very, very basic. And I haven't really used them for years. So this is all going to be a bit of a journey. And I'm so thankful that you guys will come along with me because I know there are so many people who watch all those techie YouTube channels like Vince, Stestex Fix, The Coder. Uh, Tronics Fix and all those guys and you have got so much knowledge and information and hopefully and help to get me going through this journey so yeah it's going to be interesting I'm going to be absolutely terrible to start with but it's going to be fun playing along so I think my next job is to try and um, solder all the components onto this and I think when it's when this is done we'll have a dancing line of lights around there. And I mean, it's probably gonna take me hours and need a lot of editing. Why don't I show you quickly through the menus of here while I remember. Do I have to press menu on here? Yeah. Okay, so uh, let's go through the menu. We've got resolution. Let me show you the different resolutions available. So I've gone for UHD, so 4K at 24 frames a second. There's all sorts of different resolutions, you know, even HD, 120 frames per second. That would look amazing, I reckon. Um, what have we got? We've got exposure. You can change whether you turn audio recording on or off. I've got it on because that will help me sync up the sound from my microphone and the cameras to the what's in here. Hello, Kip from Editing Future here. Now, it seems that that record audio function doesn't actually work, and it just seems to record a blank audio track which is a bit rubbish. Um, I'll speak to Andon Star about that, but yeah, ignore that part of the video because uh, yeah, it doesn't work. So we can add the date stamp. We can do time-lapse recording. That might be cool. Sharpness and freeze. So you can just like freeze the picture if you want. I don't want to do that. And then we've got contrast and color. So you can change some color settings. What does the contrast look like? Okay. Pretty, pretty standard stuff. Now, how do we get to the next bit of menu? Ah, there we go. So you press menu again. So we can have grid lines on. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, change the date and time. Language, frequency. So for the UK, you have it set at 50 hertz and for US and other countries, it's at 60 hertz. Uh, format, I'm not gonna format the card because I'll just lose the recording I've made. Uh, default settings, so that was reset it to its factory default version. That is the firmware version. That is the one I'm running. So yeah, it's got um, like a digital zoom as well. 
Now, as we discovered, you can't change this while you're recording, but... I mean, even that digitally zoomed in actually doesn't look all that bad at all. Okay, so we've got three times digital zoom. Will it go any further? No, right. So that's three times digital zoom. And we're bringing it back out to what it is. So I mean that that in itself is quite cool. You can leave the microscope high up giving you a sort of slightly better overall view and then you can zoom in like as you go. I'm genuinely excited to get to use this and I'm absolutely blown away by this quality. So it's got a, a mini HDMI output and so I could run this into a capture card if I wanted to or put it on a bigger screen. I'm going to I'm going to have a little play with it and report back because I wonder if putting the HDMI connector in there and putting it on a screen or a capture card will actually kill this display. Because in some ways it would be cool to have it like on the screen or something, but in other ways uh, I need this monitor to work. This is genuinely going to change my channel forever and I can't wait to start doing stuff. I just can't get over the quality. That picture, that is just insane and I really hope that you can see the quality on the recorded stuff that I've done because it is absolutely incredible. So yeah, pressing the OK button starts the recording. I just can't get over the quality of that picture. I hope you've got your YouTube set to like 4K and you can see just how stunning this looks. I mean, you can just see everything. Well, not everything. <laughs> I'm, I'm in awe. I'm so happy with this and I really have to thank Andon Star for sending me the replacement part and indeed gifting this to me in the end. You know, I would have happily paid for it and I did happily pay for it, but to get it as a little freebie is just awesome. So yeah, if there's anything else that I haven't shown you on here that you'd like to know, then please do get in touch and I can drop it in a mention in another video. But I think my next video on this will be attempting to do all this soldering, which I'm both excited and terrified about. But I think it's going to be fun and I will put the video up. And if you want to see that video, please do make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon so you get notifications when this video has gone live. I think that's it from me now. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, but for now, it's game over.